Alright, here we go with the Palkia battle. I'm going to try to do this without reviving Metagross and uh, Miss Magius from the last fight. So let's see if we can do this. I can't exploit any of its weaknesses right now, unfortunately, because I don't have any dragon-type attacks right now at my disposal. We'll just wear it down with Darkrai. Alright, let's just try a quick ball right off the bat. This actually could work. There's actually a very good possibility that this would work. Ah, oh, it didn't even shake. Oh well. I love Palkia and Dialga's new sprites in this game. Dang it. Use Earth Power. I'm level 100 though, it shouldn't do a whole lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it to sleep. I know it'll hurt. It'll get hurt by Dialga, but. or by Darkrai. Yes, Dialga will hurt it. Okay. Um, actually, I'm just going to keep lobbing Ultra Balls at it until... Until one of them works. As its HP gradually goes down, and I'll just put it back to sleep if it ever wakes up. Oh! <laughs> it shook two times, and it's already... It's almost at full health still. Just goes to show you how easy it, these two are to catch. And Dialga went down with pretty much no fight at all. I didn't even put it to sleep. Still, the crazy Pokemon logic that anything can break out of a Pokeball when it's asleep. Well, I guess it does make sense. If you were disturbed in your sleep, you'd kind of move around a lot if you and do kind of do that subconsciously, I guess. Whatever. Ah. Okay, it shook twice, then no times, and once. What the heck is this? Oh crap, is that Spatial Run? God, it is. I think they changed that battle animation. Spatial Run didn't look like that before, and that hardly did anything. Noob. Alright, let's use Dark Void again. And like Trigger Conroy had said in the past video, um, sleep, contrary, uh, contrary to popular belief, um, actually can last two to seven turns instead of five, like a lot of people think. Just pointing that out if you guys haven't seen Chuck O'Connor's videos or if I mean, you didn't know that before. Oh, three times. I almost got it. See, occasionally I see a Japanese word in here that I recognize, other than a name or something. Like that I actually knew from Japanese class, but that's the thing I love about my school. We have a Japanese class. This is helping me play these Japanese import games so much. Oh my god. You know you want to be mine. You shall be mine. Crap, I'm tempted not to put it to sleep again, because it might end up dying if it, the sleep lasts too long. Let's just try an Ultra Ball once, and if that doesn't work, I'll put it back to sleep and take the chance. I'm a very risky person. Dang it. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I'm putting it back to sleep. I think it su can survive two hits from bad dreams. I definitely don't want to use Nightmare on it, because that would... Ugh. Oh, it missed. Dang. Darkrai's almost gone. I can't use Dark Void anymore anyway. I think because Pressure... Dialga's, or Palkia's ability. I keep calling it Dialga. I, I'm calling everything Dialga. <laughs> I still love if you guys have seen the Darkrai movie. Um, Dawn, when she, like, they're talking about Palkia and Dialga being deities. Dawn's just like, A DEITY?! In, like, this most retarded voice ever. Yes, we caught it. She's like, A DEITY?! If you haven't seen that movie, you need to watch it. That's one of the best Pokemon movies. Alright. Palkia is ours. Alright, and actually, since I have some time left, I'll go back to the Pokemon Center and I'll show you guys what their moves are. Actually, let's save. Just to make sure something doesn't happen. I have my DS plugged in so the battery can't die. Haha. <laughs> Feel my wrath. Um, and I won't be doing any 
battles for a while because I'm working on a new team that actually if you want to see what the new team is um, it's in my channel background it's the lower left um, if you notice in the lower left I had the sprites of the Pokemon that I was using in my team for platinum um, I still have them there um, just for reference if you want to know what to use when you go through platinum that's a good team to use um, but I also have below them um, is sprites of the team that I'm going to be using next. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, get a preview, you, of course you won't know what moves that I'm going to put on them, but... Um, but yeah. Alright, now that we're outside, we can fly. Uh, we'll go to the fight area. And don't worry, I will show you guys what, um, how to turn Giratina back into the origin form. I'll probably do that in the next video, actually. Um, let's go over here. Alright, there's Giratina. Alright, here's Dialga. Um, yeah. Level 70, like I said. Um, this one actually has pretty decent attack power. Um, it knows Roar of Time. Um, hold on, let me figure these out. Uh, Roar of Time, Heal Block, Earth Power, and slash so yeah this is roar time heal block earth power and slash so eh, not bad all right and let's go to palkia level 70 again like i said again um decent special attack oh actually i was mistaken i'm sorry i said dialogue's attack is really good its special attack is actually higher which is Actually, weird. It must have a different nature. Um, I can't read the Japanese nature, so. Uh, spatial Rend, Heal Block, Earth Power, and Slash. So the only thing that's different between them is their Dragon type move that's exclusive to them Roar of Time and Spatial Rend. Um, so yeah, that's what they can do, and in the next uh, video, I'll show you how to get Origin Form Giratina permanently. So I'll see you guys then.